Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video, um, it's not going to really be a tutorial, but more of a rant on why not to get Iconoclasm and why it's a terrible application. Um, in theory, it seems like it's a great application. You can do a whole bunch of stuff to your springboard, move icons around, all that good stuff. But um, I've downloaded it twice and it's messed up my iPod. And uh, I'm going to basically show you guys today um, how to get out of the problem that I had and explain why not to get iconoclasm. So the first thing is why not to get it? It's because it messes up your iPod. Um, may not be for everyone, I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's because I'm on a spirit jailbreak. Uh, I don't know, I just don't like it. That's my personal opinion. Don't listen to what I say if you don't agree with me. Go ahead, download it, um, but it might mess up your iPod. And uh, if it does do this, I will show you how to fix that. And so basically if you search Insidia and you want to download Iconoclasm, just search for Iconoclasm and scroll down to the I section and there should be a cracked version from uh, Exilize. Now I've read on some forums that it might be the cracked version of SB Rotator that is interfering with Iconoclasm and that is why there's been many problems but a lot of other people say it's really laggy and really glitchy. Um, for me it just doesn't work overall. At one point it did work a little bit then I resprung and it messed up my iPod in the same way that it's done numerous amounts of times. Um, so even if you want to buy it, I don't think it was worth it anyway. Thank God I didn't buy it because it would have been a waste of my money. So if you want to go ahead, try it out from uh, Exilize, go ahead, see if it works. If not, uh, if you get the same problem that I had, which basically your iPod is extremely laggy, you s like slide to... Um, unlock and it takes like five minutes for it to load and process information and it's terrible and sometimes it'll just automatically just uh, turn off and turn back on so want to go ahead and try this out see if it works or if it doesn't um, be my guess so I'm going to be uh, an experimenter for this tutorial or rant and I'm going to actually put my iPod into this sort of state of peril and just so that you guys can get the full I don't know demonstration on how to get into this what happens and so on and so forth so I'm installing Iconoclasm the correct version from Exilize I've also done this another way I also uh, downloaded the actual dev file and installed it through iFile and that didn't work for me either I had the exact same problem uh, also, another issue was I. This was an issue myself, not with actual iconoclasm. I had downloaded the original version, which I thought would work, and then it didn't, so I tried to uninstall it, and I couldn't, and I tried to install the other one, and then I got an error when installing it, error 256 or something like that. So then eventually I booted into safe mode and installed everything. So I'm going to restart my springboard, and here's where all the problems start to happen. Uh, I'm sorry that my VNC exit out, exited out. It's because when it resprings, uh, VNC can't connect. Because obviously my iPod isn't connected to Wi-Fi when it is respringing. So uh, I'm going to ha go ahead actually right now and switch to my live camera for you guys, so you can see what actually happens. Alright, hey guys, um, I'm back on the live cam, I guess you can call it, and um, basically my iPod is just rebooted, and as you can see, I'm sliding, and nothing's happening, it's just like a dead screen, but don't fray, don't fret, um, it's not dead, and as you can see, I'm pressing the home button numerous amounts of times, and nothing is happening, it doesn't turn on, it's taking a very, very long time to process information, my iPod's um, very, very laggy, and this can be really annoying, but I'm going to show you guys how to get out of this. Now, if my iPod could turn on, I'm going to stop this video for a second, come back when it actually turns on. Alright guys, so apparently it's still not turning on. Sometimes this happens. Like I said, it takes a very, very long time. And um, it's still been a while, and it hasn't turned on yet. So, um, even if this does happen... Make sure that you have um, WinSCP or, or some sort of FTP client to SSH into your iPod, um, or else the rest of the tutorial won't work. 
Um, I'll have an annotation uh, before in the video saying that you must have WinSCP. So don't, if you want to attempt this, don't download this until you have WinSCP installed and you set up everything. Um, like I said in previous videos, there's many tutorials online. All right, guys. Um, so back here on my computer's desktop, and I'm just going to show you what you need to do to get your iPod out of this terrible, terrible state of uh, rebooting and much lagginess. Uh, as you can see before in the live cam, I guess, uh, that it wasn't even responding. Well, it was, but it's taking such a long time that my iPod, my iPod just shut off its screen, and then it couldn't handle the processing and just shut off and had to turn it back on. Uh, I wasn't going to wait there all day with my iPod, uh, with my camera, just waiting for uh, finally to get it to um, process at least a little bit of uh, information. So, um, like I said before, you need WinSCP. I'm probably going to have a tutorial up on this, I guess, in my next video. Um, for those of you who are watching this, I guess, later on, not the day that this was released. Um, just go check out, I guess, my next video if I end up making one. Um, but there's plenty of other tutorials on how to get WinSCP if you're on Windows or CyberDuck if you're on a Mac. So, you need this installed, uh, and I'm going to log into my home. And my iPod is on right now, but it's showing a blank screen. Default password is Alpine, but I've changed my password. Um, so what you want to do, once this is all opened up, you want to click on this button right here, this black square with, I don't know, some lettering in it. Click OK. Type in Alpine again, but for me it's a custom password. And it's going to bring you into Terminal. Now, I found this forum. Uh, I think it's multi... Uh, uh, multi touch fans, but I guess it's iPodTouchFans.com. And if you scroll down here, there's some code on how to get into safe mode via um, terminal. Uh, actually, this is for boss prefs if you have boss prefs because boss prefs doesn't have a default um, a safe mode button. Um, SB settings does, but I couldn't even access my SB settings. So, this is what you have to do. I just found putting this code into mobile terminal and um, it'll kill the springboard and respring me into safe mode. So just copy the first line of code here and open up terminal and paste that in. Click execute or hit enter. That's what should come up. No uh, processing or anything. Then copy kill all springboard and paste that in here. And hit execute. And if all goes well your iPod should respring into safe mode. And it is respringing for me. Yep. Now let me open up VNC for you guys. So that you can see. Failed to connect. Oh, I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. But um, VNC won't work because it kills all mobile substrate applications. So VNC will not work. Uh, I'll switch over to the live cam again so that you guys can see um, this in action. Alright guys, so um, here back on the live cam, as you can see my iPod is here. Um, if you're not plugged in, you'll you'll get a different um, boots uh, loading screen or whatever uh, lock screen. I'm sorry. And uh, it'll be like this sad iPhone. And here, as you can see, I am in safe mode and it gives a brief description of why and just click OK because you want to stay in safe mode. Safe mode is probably like, the best place to be. Um, and it, here it says exit safe mode. Um, if you want to exit it, tap this top status bar and click restart. But I'm not going to because that's just going to continue my problems further. What I want to do is open up Cydia. And in Cydia, just wait for all this stuff to load. I'll be back in a sec. Alright guys, so here we are back in Cydia, and um, we're in safe mode still, as you can see, exit safe mode, and just search for Iconoclasm again, and do the exact same thing as we did before, scroll down until you see Iconoclasm, click on the one from Exalize, or the one that you downloaded, if you decide to um, bear with me on this process, just for experimental purposes, or if you want to see that if this um, might actually work for your iPod, um, but as you can see, it does not work for mine. So wait until this package is finished loading. As soon as the spinning wheel is um, done spinning, um, that's ironic. And um, then we'll go ahead and uninstall 
this package for good, so we'll never have to deal with this again.